This is Science for Success, the best soybean management practices by Extension researchers from across the United States. My name is Hans Kandel, I'm an Extension agronomist, and I'm going to talk today about growth stages of soybean. When we put the seed in the ground, it first swells and it starts to take up the moisture, and after a few days, it will start to germinate, and as you think about the seed coming out of the ground, it will have the first parts called the cotyledons. After the cotyledons are there, we get two other leaves called the unifolias. And after the unifolias, we actually get the true leaves. We have a trifoliate. There are three parts of the leaves attached, and we call that the trifoliates. So as the plants are developing in the vegetative stages, we are looking at building up the factory for using the sunlight and transforming it into sugars. And initially those sugars are there to make more of the factory. So we see an increase in the vegetation. So it is very important to have a good early season crop. How can we do that? Well, we can have more seeds per acre or we can narrow the row spacing so that the seeds are uh, spaced more equal, equally in the row and therefore we have more of the plants intercepting the sunlight early in the season. It is very important, especially for that early season crop, to have as much solar radiation interception as possible. We go from the V1 stage to the V2 stage Till the plant is reaching about that V7-ish stage when we are see a transformation going from the vegetative to the reproductive phase when it starts to bloom. However, the plant is not done with making more vegetation. It keeps on growing and of course the vegetation that we have is called the canopy. We want to have the canopy closure so that the, the solar radiation can be fully utilized for the productivity. In this particular field, we see that the, the plant is still green. There is still leaf tissue. It is still vegetative and it is reproductive. When we're talking about vegetative stages, we're talking about the V1 stage when the first leaf has the first trifoliate. So the trifoliates is we have three leaflets together attached and totally this forms one leaf. So when we're talking about V stage, one of these we call the V stage, V1 with one leaf, V2 with two, V3 with three leaves. The plant is starting to grow, we have one dominant growing point and the growing point is in the center of the plant. If something happens, maybe a rabbit comes and eats the top part of that growing point. Now what will happen is there are some growing points in the axles of the leaf and the stem and they will grow and we form two stems. So the plant I have here has two stems coming out of the center of the plant. And the reason is that we had some damage in the center of the dominant growing point. As we look at this plant, we can actually look at the scars or at the nodes. So when you start at the soil level, you go up. The first scars is where the cotyledon leaves were. The second scar is where the unifoliate leaves were. And then we start seeing the leaves formed in the, uh, in the stem where we find the V stages. This is the first leaf and you go up the, the, the stem to the next leaf, which is V2. V3, V4, V5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to the top. The first leaf, V1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So as the plant starts to grow, it starts to put out several layers of leaves within the canopy. So if we look at the, uh, the plot behind me here, you can see there are various layers of leaves and the top layer is of course here intercepting most of the sunlight. What we want is to have as many leaves intercepting the light and as little as possible of the light going through the canopy to the soil surface. So if we summarize the vegetative stages, 
it is important to get the factory built as soon as possible. We need to get the plants established early in the season to capture more sunlight, have the right amount of plants growing, and as possible putting the plants in equidistance. So narrower rows will give us more plants. When we have that early season capturing of the sunlight, we will go through the phases of V1, V2 and 3 to build up the canopy and what we are wanting to do is to get a closure of the canopy of our crop so that we intercept as much sunlight as we can. At the change from vegetative to reproductive, the plant still continues growing and we will still see some leaf development, but as the plant matures, the leaves will start to yellow because some of the nitrogen will be pulled to the beans. Science for Success is funded by the Soybean Checkoff.